Hey everybody, Just Sports with John. Don't forget to subscribe to these uh, to my channel on YouTube, and make sure you like the Facebook posts, and also make sure you like the videos on YouTube, uh, so we can help keep building this thing. Okay, guys. So with that, uh, continuing our draft NFL draft team needs. So start doing the running backs, and I'll do a second video on the defensive line prospects today. So, all right. So there's a lot of variance with the running backs. Um, and the top two, depending on who you ask or what place you look at, tend to be either Jonathan Taylor or DeAndre Swift. Personally, I'm living in Wisconsin right now, so I'm going to go with Jonathan Taylor. I've seen, obviously, more of his work. But also, I, I like his thickness, his uh, strength and power. And uh, I just, I, I, I don't know. To me, he defines a little bit more of the running back. I can I can see why a lot of people fall in love with DeAndre Swift. Uh, great athleticism, uh, really good catcher out of the backfield. Really fits today's NFL profile in that regard. But I think the difference, the reason I'm putting Jonathan Taylor one is I, I feel like he could be more solid for a longer time. I feel like DeAndre Swift might be end up being like a great number two change of pace back. We've seen a lot of that where these guys comes in at that weight, that height, that skill set. And that's what they turn out to be, um, you know, which isn't bad. But um, I think if you're looking for a true like power back, I'd say Jonathan Taylor out of Wisconsin's probably, my guess, probably be the first guy off the board. But it wouldn't surprise me if Swiss the second guy or the first guy off the board either. It just kind of depends on what team. With that being said, I think we're looking at the first team possibly taking a running back could be the Buccaneers at 14. That's awfully high for a running back, but they really only need other need a right tackle, which I which I really think is probably going to be their pick would be a right tackle. But you know, sometimes the best pressure relief for a quarterback is having a good running back. So they, you know, I think it would be one of those two positions that they might draft. Some people think they might go defense there, um, but I kind of get the feeling that if you're bringing in Brady, you're either going to give him a tackle or you're going to give him a running back right off the bat. You can you can kind of get your defense in the second round. So um kind of feel like that might be the first spot. Otherwise, probably the Dolphins would be the next at their, I think, second pick at 18. That might be where they take a running back. So I think either Taylor or Swift will go right there. Um, now, I kind of talked a little bit about Swift. You know, great ball catching skills. And again, that could be the Dolphins' second pick um, down there at 18. Um, if he doesn't go there, I'm kind of thinking that. Let's see here. What do I have in my notes? It could be the. It could be somebody like the Patriots, um, and it could be somebody like the Seahawks, maybe for Swift at that point. Um, now the rest of these guys, I'm not. I'm pretty. I'm pretty certain the rest of these guys won't go in the first round. So. I'm not going to bother a whole lot with where they might go because, you know, like I said, running backs, we've seen it where maybe only one running back goes in the second round and then it's, you know, third round, fourth round, whatever. So um, the next guy I have is J.K. Dobbins. Um, some people have him as like the fourth or fifth back, but, you know, Ohio State's always been pretty good at producing running backs, and I think they've relied on him pretty well there. He's got a lot of good combinations of things as well, too. Um, you know, he's another guy that, you know, can get at 5'9", can kind of get hidden behind the line. 209 is pretty decent strength for running back, pretty decent build, but he can he can probably build on that a little bit. Um, you know, he's a junior, so that's good. He's got, uh, you know, enough going on there. But I think he's just, a, you know, good, solid running back overall, um, you know, to work with there. Uh, the next guy I have is Cam Akers. I, I like Cam Akers a lot. I think he brings a lot to the table. Um, you know, being out of Florida, I'm not sure Florida was the best competitive school, but, you know, I, 5'10", 217 pounds, I, I like a lot of that. Um, he's not going to burn you, which I think can be an issue a little bit, but um, he's he's got a bunch of other good measurables, I think. So, you know. Pretty, pretty good guy to have there. And a lot of people pick Clyde Edwards. Um, I'm not big on Clyde Edwards. Um, and I guess for, for video's sake, his full name is Clyde Edwards uh, Heller, I think is how you say it. I'm not exactly sure, but 
he's like five seven two oh seven, and could be a pretty good speed guy and whatnot, but. I, I just don't know these these smallish type running backs unless they're a burner which I don't see that guy being I, I'm gonna go with Zach Moss here as my number five out of Utah Utah had a great season and this guy was part of it um, 5'9 223 pounds perfect size for a, a, a good you know running back there um, you know he's he doesn't have really good speed but you know as long as he can take he, he tends to take guys on and take them with him so I like that better um, you know, I think he's a little bit suited for a, a power back role, but I mean, you know, if you can get that, I mean, we've seen Derrick Henry, we've seen Saquon Barkley, we see we see kind of this power back build coming back in the NFL a little bit, and I think Zach Moss is that kind of kind of guy you want. So that's the top five running backs for me, and uh, make sure you subscribe right here on YouTube, and then make sure you uh, you know like the Facebook post and uh, get ready for my next video on defensive linemen. See you guys.